we've spoken about on previous podcasts? Um, Two. YouTubers. Um, Dan asked me some questions. Um, mm. I don't know. I think, yeah, that's it. We haven't done any more. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's very and hard. And just saying that we are also live now as well. What really <laughs> irritates you? What irrita- oh, What irritates me? Oh, gosh. Mm. Quite a few things that irritate me. When a person tells lies. You know them bare-faced lies that they look right in your face and they're lying to you and you look mm. in your eyes and know that they're lying. That's, that's the thing I hate, lies. Well, I don't like lies. As, as, especially when they say, like, oh, I swear on my mum's life. It's like, no, don't. Do not, oh, yeah, do not yeah. say that unless you mean it. Like, you know what I mean? You know he's a liar. I swear my mum's yeah. life. You don't love your mum because you're shit, lying. Man. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You're lying. Your mum's going to die because you're lying. How can you swear in her life? That's so true. The kids have does it at home. I swear in your son's life. Why would you want to do a thing like that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> swear on your That's own bad. life. <laughs> <laughs> well, swear in somebody else's life, but why choose the kids? That's a, that's Dude, a, swear on your own. Not someone else's if you're going to lie about it. Come on. Let's swear in your own life. I swear in my life. All right, then. If you're dead, you're dead, innit? <laughs> it's like you can tell if they lie because when they say, "Oh, I swear, I swear to God," it's like, "Well, you don't exist, so you're a liar." <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I'm not gonna back that one. That's a controversial <laughs> one, that is. Yeah, it does exist. It does exist. Yeah, it does. Okay. That's not a lie. I swear in God, life. <laughs> to some people, I guess. <laughs> Alright then, Brad. Um, what irritates you, Brad? What really irritates me? Okay. Yeah. It's, it's to do with mainly YouTube clickbait okay. videos. Okay. I hate them. I hate clickbait so much. I could literally run about that for hours. I, I hate clickbait. I hate the YouTubers that start their videos with the loud, obnoxious, hit the bell, hit the subscribe. I hate that so much. Like, anytime I, I'm on YouTube, I might be watching something, listening to something. If yeah. autoplay goes on and puts on some horrible video and I just get some guy shouting on my ears, I just dislike it and click off. I hate it so much. Do you actually dislike people video? You know, if it, if it if it's like an obnoxious clickbait, and it, like it's just so loud and obnoxious, yeah, I'll dislike it and click off. I hate that so. Fucking hell! I hope you don't dislike none of my videos. <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't done that. Dude. Oh, thank you, Jesus! Hallelujah for that I one. Don't, I don't think you have any dislikes, do you, Craig? Well, I don't even know if I have any dislike. I don't even pay attention to the dislike. Yeah, I, I, say, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen a dislike on one of your videos. So. You're doing no, something I've watched good. a few of your videos and I haven't found one I don't like. They're all pretty entertaining. Oh, thank you. Is is that the truth? That is the truth. I'm Who's not a liar. Whose life are you swearing on? <laughs> My own. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh yeah, Bradley. Cra- Craig, yeah, yeah. Craig has agreed to play RuneScape with us one day. Oh, dude. dude. <laughs> Either you're going to hate it or you're going to love it and never be exactly. able to stop it. You, you'd never stop playing that if you like it. I swear down. Really? It's, What's Rune- it's... about anyway? It, it's about a lot of things, mainly about wasting time, but it does it in such a weird way that it's addictive and you can't stop wasting your own time. You can pretty much do whatever you like. I mean, you can build your own house, you can fish, you can just fight literally other people, big bosses. You just do whatever you want. Yeah, it's an, it's, it's an MMORPG. It it's just endless content. There's like 300 plus quests as well. It's just... It's just Plus, it's getting updated like every week. It's been around since two thousand and one. Yes. Yeah. But dude, why would I want to play a game like that though? Why would I want to waste my time in a video game like that? What do you mean? I mean, why do you why do you play other games? Because uh, mainly because they're fun. RuneScape is fun. No, it, Runes- it's kind of like that. Sounds like it's gonna take over my life. It, it takes years. <laughs> like like if you if you're playing it for the first time, it will take you years. Absolute years just to finish everything. But like, Daniel, how long were you playing the game for? I were mean, you almost max? I I probably got about three thousand five hundred hours. I think. How much? About three thousand five hundred hours on my main RuneScape account. That's without old school. Oh, you dude. sound like when you got in from school, you was on Craig, I used to Skype school to play it. I used to stay at home just so I could get 99 woodcut. It was like, yeah, mate, I ain't going into then school. It, then it, years ago, I remember there being a, a double XP weekend that got oh, carried over to the Monday. And I played with you. We, we, we pulled a, an all-nighter on the weekend. 
yeah. and kept playing through the day. And then it was Monday, and then we got told it was continuing to the Monday, and you told me to take a day off school and put on another one so we yeah. get more XP. <laughs> It's it's fun it's fun we it. cuz I mean we ended up doing it we ended up doing it I mean worry about it. another good thing is like we used to literally just there's a park called the wilderness basically you go there and other people can kill you or you've got like these ghosts that run around haunting you and attack you and literally me and Brad used to spend hours just walking around the place just like hunting these ghosts yeah. and we just used to get wrecked every time but it was just it's just yeah. a fun you don't have to complete stuff it's just literally just getting together and it's just such a social game it was it was years ago, like back when you had no idea what you was doing in the game, and me and Dan would just walk around and explore the game and find anything. And that's what I really like about games. I kind of like not knowing what I'm doing because it's really fun to just kind of explore and figure out what the. Yeah, but every video game's like that, really, isn't it? Like yeah. I've, got, I've got Days Gone here, and I really want to get lost in that game. Yeah, I don't want to true. spend so much hours. They said the maximum time to complete the game is thirty hours. I would like to do at least in days gone. And I'm done. Yeah, really? Gone. See, yeah, yeah. See, that's the right. The story's, really, sh- the story's really short. I think. Yeah. But see, like with them games and most games, it's like you've got a path that you've got to kind of follow. With RuneScape, yeah. you can literally just walk off. You don't have to do no quest. You don't even have to do combat. You can just literally just fucking walk around the world. It's quite a big it's map so- as well. He's, oh, you yeah. sound like a salesman, like you're trying to sell the game. <laughs> you know? just, he's doing it well, then. He's, he's doing it very well, but I'm just saying right here, right now, I'm bypassing that one. <laughs> really? <Well, laughs> I don't know, dude. No matter how much you sell the game to me, I'm still running from it. <laughs> I mean, considering how addictive it is and how addicted I've been to it at points, I would run from it. It's not. It's, it's a scary game. It, well, like, but the- you, you either love it or you hate it. But if you love it, you, it's never letting go of you. It would drag you down and make you play forever. So why would I want a game to drag me down? I need something to uplift me. Well, it, <laughs> it does. It does uplift you. I mean, oh yeah, for sure. It's it's, it's great seeing like your numbers go up, your yeah. stats, and your levels, and the grind. Yeah. Is does that mean taking time off work? No, I mean, no, you don't have to. Craig, you can get it on your phone. You can lay in bed at night and you can spend twenty minutes on the game. You don't have to spend hours on it. You know, because you can just. Do a couple of kills, log out, go come back to it later on the next day or whatever. Do a couple more kills. You don't have to. It's not one of the games where you have to play and you have to play for hours to kind of actually progress or achieve. You know. Uh, it depends what you're doing. Exactly. Well, you know what, guys? I'm gonna say I appreciate you guys pitching like that. You know what I mean? Trying to sell the game to me, let me know everything. But as I said, I am tiptoeing around it. <laughs> I don't blame you, dude. I really <laughs> do not blame you. It's like crack. <laughs> It really is. is. It's like, like crack. crack cocaine. I, I, I've never tried that, so I, would, I, I don't even know what's going to happen there. I've never tried that one. That's you can imagine. Like, I, I, I don't want to imagine. Craig, for example, right, basically, there's a skill and you have to click. You go around the obstacle course, right, and no, you've got to click on stop. certain parts. And you basically just do that. It takes about a minute to complete a lap. And... Yeah. I once sat there for about 20 hours straight just laughing around this thing and you said you've got to spend 200 hours to get 99 in the skill and uh, that's not like you spend some of a 24 hour day doing it it's th- like 200 straight gameplay hours just to max out one skill 200 straight and you've and you did that I've done that I've, and, I've done it and, I've done it and now I'm on my second attempt at getting 99 again is on the second account doing the same thing Dude, what's the name of this game? RuneScape. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or, I'm gonna ruin my ass past that one. Bro. As I, I was gonna say, or like you would probably say, run and escape from this game. Yeah, it's actually terrible. It's so so addictive and it's so dead at the same time. But I don't know how it does. I think RuneScape's got some of the deadest gameplay, but also some of the most addictive and fulfilling gameplay. I just love the way it looks because like, yeah. I mean, especially yeah. old school. It's, it's it's a retro game. It, the graphics are absolutely shocking, but that's why I love them. Because I mean, yeah. when I was yeah. a kid, that's what the graphics was like, and they've stayed true to that. Okay. Yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. Oh, I'm listening <laughs> today. I'm listening today. As I said, guys, all I can do is listen. I'm still not going to attempt to play. No, <laughs> that's fine. But anyway, that's pretty enough RuneScape talk before this whole co- podcast just. It's it's just, yeah. So anyway, Craig, on that note, yeah. tell us about 
the first game that you would consider got you into gaming? Oh, wow. that's a good question, actually. That, that is a very good question. Uh, the game that got me into gaming. Yeah. Wow, that would be Double Dragon Two. I don't even the think Revenge. I know that. Double Dragon, Double Dragon 2. Two, The Revenge. That was on the um at the time I played. I think I played Double Dragon One, and then um my friend had a, a suit and uh, a Nintendo or NES. Yeah. And he had he had Double Dragon Two. That was the game, dude. Oh, it's like a fighting I, oh, game. Wow. Yeah, I looked it up. Yes, beat up Double Dragon Two: The Flying. Revenge. That was the best game on the NES. That's that's the game that definitely got me into video games properly. You see, that was released in 1988. The Double Dragon yes, Two. Yeah. Double Dragon Two. That's mad. Wow. That's mad. What, what about you, Brad? What, what what game? I mean, mainly when I was young, I used to play PS2 games. That's like kind of what I grew up with with my earliest games. I think the two main series, I, I did play some games before this, but I think I was too young to really remember them. I think the two main series that got me into playing games was probably the Ratchet and Clank series on the on the PS2, and maybe and the Jack, Jack and Dexter, Dexter series yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, you know already. I knew exactly what you were going to say. Have you played Like, I've played so many hours of those. Have I played one? No, I was going to say, have, uh, has Craig played them? Do you know what they are? Yeah, I do know what they are, but I've never played them either. They they're they're both they're, platformer games. Yeah, but they just weren't up my street. At the time when you guys are playing those, I'm thinking about Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm, thinking, yeah, I'm thinking about Final Fantasy VIII. That's what I'm thinking about. Oh, you know, I've, I hear so much about Final Fantasy. I've never played a Final Fantasy game. Oh, man, you don't know what you're missing. You don't know what you're missing. Oh, I hear it. They're really damn good. Okay. But I, I just Final never Fantasy, played any. The best Final Fantasy would be Final Fantasy VII. That's the best. How many Final Fantasy games are there now? Like, there's tons, it's like over there's 10. Loads. There's loads. But you know what we'd like to give a go though? Um, Final Fantasy Online. That's that's the one I've never actually given a go. Never played that? Never. No, online Final Fantasy. Like, just playing with random people. I've never given it a go. I, just, I, I think it's not the same. I mean, because mm. you have to team up, you have to work together. And sometimes people can be arseholes and they just want to do their yeah. own thing, collect their own loot. I've never See, given that a go, but... See, that's what I'm like. I, I kind of like to just stay to my, Like, when I used to play World of Warcraft or whatever, I literally just used to run around by myself. See, Ew. have you ever played that game? No. no never I remember before. playing World of Warcraft. Like, Dan, you told me to play World of Warcraft. Yeah, we, we played it for like together, a week or two. Yeah. yeah. How many years ago was that? Oh, that was God, oh. that was time ago. <laughs> So that's so that is that the game that got you into gaming? No, no, the, f- game? the game that probably got me the most into gaming is I remember having a Game Boy Advance and I had the Pokemon game on it and it was a oh, yeah. Sims busting out on the the, ten- the Game Boy and that, yeah. that I don't know, that was quite enjoyable. And then I got my uh, DS and that was like, I guess, what got me into the gaming. I had that Sims game on PS2. I just love Nintendo games, you know, like Zelda. Nintendo games are fun. Nintendo games are fun. So let me ask, let me ask you now, um, Bradley. Mm. What is your best Super Mario Kart game? If you ever played a Super Mario Kart game, you know, I've never actually played any. What? They're they're on they're on. I I mean, I've played like a match or two of it, just like here and there, maybe like around a friend's house or something. But I've never actually properly played a Mario Kart game. Oh, I, yeah, I don't know. Oh, you guys are trying to sell rules, <laughs> <laughs> oh, for, for me, it would probably have to be the Nintendo 64. Yes, you know, yeah. you know it is. You know, dude, you know. It's just, you know. it just hits home for me, that game. Yeah, you know, it's, Mario I've got Kart loads 64. of good memories for that game. So, yeah. <laughs> so have I. So have I. That game was the one. But then, to be fair, I've it- not... So I was just gonna say, to, to, to be fair, I've not really played any of the new ones, so I can't really compare them to the new one, newest one or whatever. I think the last one I played was on the Wii. I think, yeah, Wii. Wow, wow! But you know what? As I've got, I've got um, Mario Kart Deluxe for the, the Nintendo Switch. I don't that's the newest one, right? Yeah, that's the new one, but it's just not the same. And I've played all the Mario Karts. It's just really? The fuck? Yeah, I've played all the Mario Karts, but Mario Kart 64 is just the best. That's the best. Yeah. Nothing beats that, mate. Nothing beats it. Uh, now that you say, uh, I have a friend who's got a Nintendo Switch. 
Um, and he brings it into class sometimes and during break. I think that's when I played uh, the most Mario Kart. We played maybe like uh, two matches or something. I think it was Mario Kart 8 Deluxe that we played the new one, the newest. Yeah, and uh, I mean it was enjoyable. Obviously, I haven't played the older ones, so I, I have nothing to compare it to. But it was still pretty fun, I think. Yeah, so what do you, so what do you think about the Switch? I mean, again, I don't have my own Switch, but I, I've I've used one and I've played on it for a little bit. Yeah, it's so a pretty cool console. I like portable consoles. Yeah, I think the, I like the way it, it's it, it's just it's you can take it anywhere you want. Yeah, and, and just you plug it into your TV. Yeah, that's that's the fun joy about it. Like that plus, been, that is a fun console. Yeah, plus you can uh, set like. Use a controller each for two player. You ain't got to go out and buy another controller. Whatever you can just, you know, there's one. Well, I ain't gonna tell the lie. The console's that good. I've got two. So. <laughs> yeah, but you you, you are like two of like most things, don't you? Just so you yeah, got like RPG games. Yeah, RPG games and any other games. I think I need to well sit here and do a funny video because I like doing my videos. As I said, tomorrow because I've done a video tonight and tomorrow my son's gonna watch this. He's gonna love it. So, you know, this that's one. what I love doing. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I love that. Shout Here's out. a question. Shout out to DJ. Hey. Here's a question. Yeah. What's everyone's most played game of all time? In terms of, like, how long you've played the game? RuneScape. <laughs> I, I think mine will either be RuneScape or Minecraft. I think, gonna, genuinely. I'm, I'm or maybe Team you, Fortress. I'm not going to tell you no lie. The game that I've gave the most hours to, and that's over 300 plus... Yeah, um, that is Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. You, you do like that one. 300 plus hours, yeah, 300 oh. plus hours. And still uh, going now. I, th I think my most played game of all time, it it's either Minecraft or Team Fortress 2. I think over like a few years, I've had a couple of Steam accounts, and I think I've amassed 3,500 hours on Team Fortress 2 in total. Wow. I love that game. I played it for so long. See, I'd say my second most played game is probably The Witcher 3. <laughs> one of my all-time favourite games. I've only played 10 hours of that, but it was really damn you know fun. What? I've actually lied, you know. I think I've just told a lie. I've but... actually just told a lie. The game that I spend the most hours on in my life would have to be Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Really? Huh. Yeah, dude. I prestige 32 times. Fuck it. Jesus. Oh, well. <laughs> Excuse that language, but wow. Is it third really? Third dumb line. You got 12 prestige, and I did it twice. Dumb line. <sighs> no, there were 13. I think there were like 13 prestige or something like that, but twice it was like over 36 something is, prestiges. Is that your favorite so, COD game? Oh, uh, well, I was ranked third in the world for Kill Confirmed, so yeah, that would be my best quality Blimey. game. See, my favourite is uh, hands down Black Ops 2 because I love the games, I love the, the graphic designs. That's a beautiful game. Yeah. Well, Black Ops 2. Yeah. But my favourite one. No, Black Ops 2 was that was a killer as well because when that game came out, I was playing it before time and then I realised that you can get the gold camo yeah. with the diamonds on it. Dude, oh, we sexy. were running around, yeah. When we find out what to do, we were running around. Yeah, after we prestige, so like we prestige, uh, we got to a, like a 12th prestige by December because that was the team of us. Yeah, and that was the aim. We got there, then we done all the challenges for gold, uh, gold guns with diamonds on it, a diamond gun. But we had kids messaging us saying, "Can you take my account so we can have them guns?" That's how bad it was, dude. Well, <laughs> see, I, I think I had a, I had a gold riot shield. I had, I think, all. Uh, gold submachine guns, assaults, and I think I had a gold knife because I used to just love running around knifing them. It's like <laughs> fashioning with the shield. Yeah, that's a good game. Black Ops 2 was a good game. Black Ops, wow. Even now, I think it's still one of the best. Yeah, I would love Blue Player, but I'd love to see the little statistics of how many people still play each COD game. Well, there's a guy on YouTube that does that actually. Um, really? You just have to type in. Yeah, he does. He goes back and, and see who's playing what game now when it comes to Call of Duty. So yeah, there's a guy that does that. You can see the uh, the Steam players for Call of Duty games like live player count. Oh really? Oh, yeah. See, really? That, I was I was just gonna say uh, that's one thing that annoys me. Like with COD, they bring out all these different games and then just it splits up the play a community yeah. each time because yeah. they've just got so many different games out everyone has their each favorite one 
but it's yeah, hard to kind well, of keep them together. Point, as I, I said this before to many people, Call of Duty, that game is made for for one person. Like so, this year could be yours, next mm. year could be mine. Mm. You're after it could be Bradley. That's how the game is. Like as I said, Advanced Warfare was the best one, and from then I stopped playing COD. Yeah, just, I, it wasn't the same. I don't really like. I didn't, I didn't really like the, the whole boost things where you could just boost in the air and all that. I didn't really take to that. I, I like the boost. I, I think I like the boost. I like the boost, but after a while, like I, I just don't know where they took that boost. They took that boost to another level. I just gave up. It's just every it's everything got there. too like, like scientific, like the bombs and all that. It's just like. Back in the day, we literally just throw it, boom. <laughs> and, you, and then you got kids come on, they say, you're sweaty. You're very sweaty. Yeah. You yeah. say to yourself, what the hell? <laughs> you're a try hard. Yeah. What the hell is try a try hard? hard? Yeah, he's sweaty. sweaty. You. Like, shouldn't, shouldn't you be trying hard? Exactly. Like, like, you're not you playing know, the game. That's, that's the point of the game. Try hard. Isn't it? I stopped oh, playing Call of Duty games a long time ago. But, like, I don't know. I think, I think um, my favorite was probably... The first Modern Warfare, I enjoyed that one a lot. Yeah, that was sick in it. That was sick. I, I still own uh, Call of Duty World at War on PC, and like the the zombies mode on that, I, I love it a lot. I love that mode so much. See, what in Black Ops Two? I mean, all the all the ones. Uh, there was a zombies mode in World at War, and that was fun. Yeah, that that was the first one. That was good. Yeah, that was good. I give that credit. That was good. I thought I thought zombies first. Um... Came in Black Ops One, Nazi Zombies. No, I think I think World it was in World at War. World at War, and then ah. it was Black Ops, and then Black Ops Two. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Jeez, you guys are killing it now. So, oh, you know what? Mm. I bought something to ask as well, Bradley. Mm. Yeah. Would you ever pick up, yeah, uh, a fighting game, sit there, study it, and become really good at it? <laughs> and what is your best fighting game? <laughs> okay. I think I'm. I think most of my answers to these kind of questions are going to be similar, because I don't really have any fighting games that I've ever really played. But I like the concept of them. I like um, I like how skill based a lot of them are. I like that, and I, I kind of really do enjoy putting time into learning games, and I like getting really good at games. Yeah. So I guess if I found a fighting game that I enjoyed, yeah, of course I'd 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 love to really get good at something I enjoy. That's why I play games like Overwatch so much. Cause I love it and I want to get so good at it. How many but, uh, hours have you given Overwatch? Uh, I think right now my account's got somewhere over a thousand hours on it. Um... <laughs> all right, Brad. All right, Brad. Jeez, you're moving up in the world, isn't it? I like it. I like it. Like if I find a game that I really like, I'll put time into it and I'll put a lot of time into it. What about you, Dad? Um, I mean, I would like to say. Uh... I don't know, same, same fight games, I mean, the only ones i really played are like Mortal Kombat, I've never really played, I've not played much of Street Fighter and that, but in Mortal Kombat I would like to say, what's that, Liu, Liu Kang, is that his name? Yes, yes, I, yes. I'd like to you, say... You're not, you're, not, you're not really a big, you're not really a big fan of Mortal Kombat, because you don't even know the guy's name. What is it, what is his name? Yeah, it's Liu Kang. Yeah. There we go, yeah. I knew him, I know him, I know uh, Sub-Zero. Anyone else? I'm trying to think of that. Lightning Wizard's name. <laughs> you called him a Lightning Wizard. <laughs> oh fuck! I did know his name. I swear. His name's Raiden. That's it. That's it, Raiden. Oh. Oh my gosh. Excuse me. Hey, I was close enough with Lightning Wizard. Come on. All right, but so my fighting game, my fighting game is Street Fighter Five. Love Street Fighter Five. Love that. And uh, yeah, and all the. Marvel vs. Capcom, love those games. See, I've, I've never played any of them. I've got Marvel vs. Capcom? Mm -hmm. Never played any. Oh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 was the best. But, I mean, I, I really do, I really love the <coughs> Lego Avengers, Lego Marvel, two heroes, that's amazing. What? Those games? Lego Marvel, two heroes? You've never played them, have you? No, I don't no. play any games, I don't see the two kiddies. <laughs> well... See, it, dep it depends obviously on your person, like what your preference is. I, mm. I love Lego. I love anything Lego. I want to play. I mean, because I used to love playing the Lego Star Wars games back in the day. They are just so much fun. Oh, they were so addictive. I used to play loads of those. Yeah. What Lego Star Wars? Yeah. Yeah. On PS2, me and Daniel used to play that all the time. Like the co-op on PS2. 
that and Sims. Was what you guys was logged on online with the PS2? No, 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 no. like in the same house on the yeah. same. same oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm about to say because if you guys was logged on, you guys was really up with technology because boy, my <laughs> PS2 got never hooked up to the internet. Never. Uh, I don't, I don't think, think I, I ever hooked mine up to the internet. Yeah, same here. Who, who's Sandwich Man? So, sandwich Man is now following me on Twitch apparently. I'm not a sandwich man. Huh? I'm not a sandwich man. Who the fuck Maybe it's sandwich the guy, from, the guy from work, innit? He find out where you were. And he's like, yeah, like, you. Cause, cause you, you did mention the podcast and the kickboxing thing. I don't want people. Did you really say he found you? Dude, he's in your chat. On your oh, Twitch is channel. he actually? Yeah. Really? Uh, Ask him what sandwiches he's. Oh, it, he's put. I'm oh, sandwich yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, sandwich man. Yeah. I didn't know anyone. I didn't know anyone could watch Ask this. Oh, it, it, Daniel, you it, just it, said it's live, mate. <laughs> now you're surprised people watching watch it. No, well, I thought it was like. I'm, I'm listed on private, do you know what I mean? No, it's not. Why can't, why can't I'm I'm I see I'm messages? I'm a sandwich man. I'm a sandwich I can't man. see messages. I need to deliver your sandwiches, boy. Oh, <laughs> I'll just sit in it. Oh, look, he's just put hit fighting games are awesome. There you go. Nice. Well, he's a sandwich man. <laughs> Isn't it? There you go. That's, I think that's best sandwiches bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Oh yeah, I second that one. That's Ooh, a good actually, sound. I don't know. I, I can't stand tomato. Take the tomato well, out. Add bacon. It's still egg, a good sandwich. Bacon egg. egg yeah, that's nice. Beautiful. That's nice. Bacon egg and tomato. That's a bad boy sandwich, man. Wow. That's, that's just that's a, a BLT, isn't it? I don't think you can go wrong with like a good old ham and cheese sandwich, though. Yeah. Wow, that's a sandwich, man. Which yeah, is it? I'll fight you for that one. <laughs> <laughs> fighting for a sandwich, fighting for the title of sandwich man. Yeah. Fight you mate, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, Bad boy sandwich. <laughs> ah, True bad boy really sandwich. What about you guys favourite crisp? What's your favourite crisp? Crisp? Bacon rashes. Bacon who? Bacon rashes. Nah, Kevin Bacon. Dead. That is absolutely dead. You no, don't like bacon rashes? No, that is just oh. I'll tell you what, what do you like? Oh, um, quavers. They're nice. They are I nice. Just, I just like the way it melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. is it my favorite. My favorite has probably got to be McCoy's. McCoy's, McCoy's hot chicken really fries. I don't know if I've had the hot chicken one. They are banging, man. If you've not had them, honestly. I like the cheese and onion ones. Just fucking put your head in a toilet because that's what you deserve. <laughs> <laughs> what was that about? I, I don't know. I was being. I got too defensive there. Because my McCoy's. No, no it's alright. Oh, Dad, you get serious over things, you know. Trust me, dude. You get. Nah. You get serious over things. I like the way you are still. The only thing I'm thinking about right now is work at like half eight in the morning. <laughs> Remember, I'm there with you guys as well, so I know that feeling. Yeah, but you're well, not at half. Yeah, not there you're after. at half okay. eleven, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, you know I literally can't be bothered. At least I come in an extra, an extra half an hour to help. Mm -hmm. you know I, mean? I like to do it on a Friday. That's how giving I am. Yeah, apparently, half I, an hour I, early. I think Toshi's got to leave because he said uh, he he needs to be gone. He needs the delivery to be done by eleven or something. Or he said he needs to leave by eleven. Okay, so it's all right because if it's if it's if it's if it's not finished, then I'll come in and give you guys a hand in it. Yeah, well, me and Bradley stay until twelve anyway. I think that's what we normally do. So and when we done, we can bust a move and do a dance. <laughs> this is <just> some <laughs> Fortnite dance move. I don't no, know. No, 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 no Fortnite dance move. I I no way. That move is banned. I hate all them Fortnite moves, man. You see them everywhere. It's ridiculous. I like you see all the the young ones doing it and all the kids and whatnot dancing. Yeah, I'm I'm just saying that because I can't play the game, so I'm just giving the game <laughs> a negative. Right see, <laughs> see, that is the thing though. People hate on it, but is it because you hate it or is it just because you can't play it? Because I've played about five games of it and I just couldn't get it down, so I just turn it off and never been back to it. I mean, I played a little bit of it, and it's all right. <laughs> but I don't know. Sandwich Man is just like Fortnite with some face. I don't even know who it is supposed to be. Yeah. You know, you know that. Uh, what's, what's, uh, there's another thing that I was just about to talk about. It slipped my head. Why, where did it go? I'm trying to get it back. Come back. <laughs> Come back. Yeah, lost your thoughts, dude. Huh? Yeah, lost, lost your thoughts. thoughts. It's terrible. Say again? That's terrible. I 
Oh, I'm getting old. I'm getting old. He's a sandwich man. I love it, man. He loves your sandwich yeah, man. He loves you, and uh, this the sandwich man has just put. I don't like Fortnite, so he he he's okay with us, eh? Okay, so he's yeah, that's pretty good with me. Yeah, he knows what we're talking about. Yeah. Like, Fortnite. Thanks, Fortnite. Thanks, right? That's why I love you, dude. Thank you. See, but you, I mean, I've played PUBG as well, and I think PUBG is just a better game than Fortnite. But I just don't see how Fortnite's getting all the love, and then PUBG is just kind of like in the shadow. Fortnite, you know, Fortnite yeah, has robbed people. That's what that game has done. That game has came through. He yeah, had clean sweep the whole entire world. Yeah. Clean sweep, dude. You know what the game did? It came in and said, "We are free." Yeah, that's what exactly. the game said. Yeah, yeah. But when you jump in and look how much money you have to pay, we weren't free. Games are multi, maybe multi, multi billion. Yeah, I was gonna say that they're in the billions okay. now. <laughs> yeah, man, I mean, this game came clean sweep. Especially with obviously the the, the Marvel uh, add-ons that, that they've done now for the games, like where you can have Captain America and Shield and all that. Yeah. I just because because obviously the deal they had to put Fortnite in the film as well, yeah. and I just thought that was a bit a bit cheesy, but a little bit, yeah. 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 No, I, no, I like the way they did it. That's cool. That's cool. Getting more money. They ain't stupid. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, at the same time, it's like. I think that's like the first like, advertisement that they've put in the games. Yeah, I mean, in films. Know, none of my kids play that at home. I banned them from that game because they don't want to come to tell me, but yeah, daddy, I need to buy this. You need to buy nothing, boy. I need to buy the dance moves. Yeah, you don't let your kids play Fortnite, dude. That's a good idea. Otherwise, they're going to start doing Fortnite dances. See, see, oh, see this, is, this is good parenting, one on one here. <laughs> Ban them from Fortnite. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> is so, I mean, yeah, I like to say I, li I like using that word. You're banned. They come to me and said, eh, "You're not jumping the internet to play this game." No, nah, you're banned. <laughs> All right, Craig. What, what, what if you, what if your son came to you like, oh, "I'm playing RuneScape." <laughs> I look at him and say, "Son, you've just gave away the whole entire of your life." <laughs> <laughs> so true. So true. And there's no coming back from this one, and I can't help you. <laughs> You're in too deep. <laughs> You're in too deep. You're like around the cover. You can't get out. No, exactly. Yeah, I don't know. It's like you went straight back to RuneScape. That's what I mean. You went straight. Back. It is an addictive game. It is, I yeah. think my, my son wants to play. I don't know what game does he wants to play. He said he, he likes. He, he want. I think my son wants to play Mortal Kombat. I think that's what he wants to play. More yeah, he likes fighting games, yeah, because he keeps showing me his muscles. So I think he <laughs> muscles. Like, look at my muscles, I'm real big. Are you, you, are, are you, are you going to let him start kickboxing when he gets older? You know, yeah, make him go? Because I think that, because like, seeing the kids there, like some of the kids that have been there for years, it's like, it's, it's going to shape them for life. You know, it is, but th also I'm kind of worried because I'm gonna get older, and then he's going kickboxing. He's gonna get stronger. And he's <laughs> so stronger, as possible. So when I talk to him, I can't talk to him too loud. He's <laughs> so slap me in my head. Who you talking to, Dad? You in it, <laughs> in it, it'll be, the, the, the roles will be reversed. He'll be wearing the pants. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I mean, son. Hey, don't, don't talk to me, Dad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry. He's like, I'm watching Peppa Pig. Fuck off, guys. <laughs> yeah, I think he tries that one time, actually. I think he heard somebody swear, and um, he turned around, and he got up the next day, and he remembered the word, and he got up, and he said it, and I looked at him, and he turned to me, and he said, I'm sorry. I said, if I hear you say that word again, I'm coming for you, boy. Then he said it again, and looked at me, and said, sorry. Said, Dude, come on. That's what I'm saying, Dude, come on. Yeah, my son is cheeky, and he's starting to teach my little girl things as well. So really? Oh. Yeah, she's 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 not playing any games at the moment. But at the moment, is no, love you, please. That's what I get. I mean, she's face to do. But we're gonna leave the kids them out of it. We're gonna jump back on our game. <laughs> Definitely. Bradley, I would like you to get Mortal Kombat 11 practice, and then um, mm. let me download it on my. Um, PC and I would like to challenge you and kick your ass <laughs> I mean I could probably practice for ages and you'd still do that so I don't think it'd be much of a challenge I don't have a lot of experience with playing games in general really right and I'm going to give Dan uh, uh, his one Dan you need to get um, 
Marvel vs. Capcom 3. You need to get your Deadpool character and study with him. And then you can come at me and I want to kick your ass. Alright, Craig. And I want you to get 99 room. 99 room crafting. No, don't, don't do that. What, what, what game is that one? Did you say Rune Hoof? He wants you to get. He wants you to max out a skill in RuneScape, and it's the slowest skill. The name of the game, Rune Who? RuneScape. Rune Who? Escape. You don't want to play that game. Rune, I am missing and escaping from you. (laughs) No. (laughs) Don't. It's terrible. But on on that note, though, Craig, you you need to download Overwatch to your laptop. Yeah, I should do. Because be lazy. And there's a lot of things I need to do. I'm so lazy. Well, it's free, and you've already got an account, so you don't have to pay yeah. for anything. So it's just the matter of yeah. downloading it, finding a game, and downloading it. I know, I know, I know. I need to do that. I need to do that. I just got so much other things on my laptop that I just don't really want to download a game one day. But I need to do it. Because we can't play with you on PS4. Because I ain't got one, and Brad's got a PC. Yeah, I don't have a PS4 don't or an a, Xbox to a, myself. You have a PS2, don't you? I have a PS2, but I watch it on that side one. It's alright, dude. Sometimes it's good to stay retro. Hold on to your PS2. Right, I think yeah, I still have it. Yeah. Oh, God. you have no idea how long we spent on that game. That's, that's not a good game. Uh, what's the Gladiator? Ratchet, Ratchet and Clank Gladiator. Oh. It was like a spin off game, like a co op one. Oh, it's, it's just like shoot em up kind of arcade Action guy is so good. Really? Too so many hours. You can tell you guys are really young in it because I'm so old. <laughs> like I can say is really. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting old, Craig. Look at me. I feel old. I feel nah, old. No, you don't feel as old as me, dude. I'm ancient, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ancient. I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this one a, a, a rap, and I'm gonna leave you guys to it. Huh? Cause I can hear, I can hold up. What's that? What's going on? What's that calling me? I think my pillow's calling me. Hold up, one second. Guys. <laughs> Holy shit! Them sheeps are jumping really, really fast. I need to go count some sheeps, guys. I need to do the same because oh, I gotta yeah. get up early tomorrow anyway. So I don't, wanna, I don't count to ten. I want to try to get to a hundred. At the moment, I can just five sheeps. So five uh, yeah, sheeps. I'm going. I can never get to sleep. Like if I'm already asleep, I can never wake up. It's really hard to wake up, but I also find it really hard to fall asleep. You can it's never terrible. wake up. I think that's just being dead. <laughs> no, I'm I'm alive. <laughs> oh, a kind moment. Okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's not that I can't wake up. It's that most of the time I really don't want to, and and it's really hard to. I know like, you've got to go, yeah, but sorry I'm cutting you, Brad. Yeah. No, 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 no. That sleep, yeah, that when you wake up, the sleep is so nice that your whole body feels drunk. You just want to get back into the same sleep mm-hmm. and the same dream. Every single morning, every single morning without fail, I just wake up and want to go back to bed instant. But I, I can't, because half the time I've got to get up at 6.30 in the morning, then get on a train to Norwich, go to college, and it's boring as hell. I mean, especially when you're having one of them really nice dreams, and you just you just hear your phone alarm going off, and you're like, no, no, oh. no just just five minutes, guys. Just... Yeah, you know what the worst thing is? It's it's when you're sleeping, and for some reason maybe you wake up, and your alarm hasn't gone off yet, and you're like, cool, I can I can fall asleep, but you check your phone, and it's like three minutes till your alarm would go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do that. So- yeah, sometimes I wake up and I just, I just end up scrolling through like Facebook or something, and it's like been twenty minutes. I'm like, shit. Yeah. 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 I know the feelings. I've been getting those lately, man. Getting up in the morning, and then it's like, no, nah, I just want to lie back down. Yeah. Like I'll, I'll easily sleep thirteen hours a night. I genuinely will. And then if I don't send one, I will every night. I don't know why I sleep so much, but like, I always feel tired unless I get like. Eight or nine hours sleep. Well, I'm going to leave you to it, and then you go get some sleep. And then yeah, I'm going to see you tomorrow. Let's wrap it yeah. up. Well, uh, thank you for watching, Sandwich Man. You are probably our number one fan, so <laughs> props to you. Just a brand of applause yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, everyone that is probably going to watch it. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> it will. Don't worry. It will. It will definitely. Sandwich Man, shout out to you, bro. Uh, we we do this as much as we 
we try to be, but we upload the podcast to a. Do you want to say the channel, Greg? North, North Station. North Station. Uh, yeah, North Station. If I type it, we'll go into the thing. Wait, no, I wrote it wrong. Hold up. There we go. North Station. So yeah, we upload them to there, but we try and uh, YouTube, YouTube, and then obviously the Twitch. This Twitch is the one where we do it live. But yeah, like I said, we try and do it as much as we can, but it's it's kind of hard. We need to try and figure out a schedule, really. Yeah, we we, yeah, we, we, we do. We have our schedules all over the place. We yeah. need to get that together. Definitely do. I mean, as soon as I'm out of college, I've got Tuesdays and Thursdays all day uh, for free. And as soon as I'm out of college, I have way more time because I'm not doing as much revision. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm done it. I'm done in like two and a half weeks anyway. So Tuesdays, I'm free Tuesdays yeah, as well. So, well, off the kickboxing. Yeah, see that's what I'm saying. Yeah. If, we, if we, we could do it Tuesday and Thursday because I'm normally hyped up after kickboxing, so I can just talk for hours. Did you just say you're normally hyped up after kickboxing? Yeah, I'm hyped. Dude, you were trying to knock me out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I was just trying to practice some kicks, you know. Like, what? Uh, no problems, dude. No problems. I'll, I'll go harder than you next week. <laughs> well, bring it. Bring it. We'll, we'll have our own wow. gear. Ooh. Oh, and so much man just it. said he, he was listening to this whilst he was cleaning up the house, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> yeah, nice. Well, I'm glad to keep you company whilst you're cleaning, but unfortunately, this is uh, the end for tonight. But, uh, yeah, any last words, guys? Yeah, I love you guys, and I'm, I wish I can give you a massive cuddle before I go to bed. No, homo. That ain't the case. I'm gonna sort out the cuddle with the pillows. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. I need to do the same. Me I'm, I'm already tired. Yeah, so it's right, peace man. out, and I love you guys, and I'll catch you later. Peace. Yeah, that sounds good to me. No problems.